Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. We we we, uh, we did talk to the, the man in the elevator. And I mean, we'll get her. Don't worry about it. Um, so, uh, look, I've got to uh, continue on. Okay. Yeah. Do you have that wire? Did you wire the money? We've got it. Great. Okay. Good. Here we go. No. <laughs> so, how long have you worked here? Oh. How long have you worked here? I'm not getting anything. I'm not getting anything. Maybe it's just the time of day. I don't know, it might just be the time of day. Um, I'm not gonna give up though. One more time and then we'll have to come back to it later. <clears throat> How long have you worked here? Three AM is commonly known as dead time, and the reason is because you know the number six 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 is often referred to as the devil. Well, half uh, it's, it's the, also the Trinity. So um, sometimes, spiritually speaking, uh, ghosts. The dead time is at three AM because uh, it's making fun of the Trinity. It's making fun of that you know the, the good higher power and the bad higher power. I don't know how much I necessarily believe that, but three AM is commonly accepted as dead time. Look, there's a train coming through town. That's fantastic. <laughs> Just turned it Uh, I would say a good probably 30-40% of these are not done by humans. Um, I would say die dead trees, obviously a bit of an anti-earth sentiment. Not only are the trees dead, but they want them to die again. <laughs> That's not, it's just not uh, human. Alright, so, so here are your ghosts, or some of them maybe. Um, it's really common that in haunted areas, in haunted areas, um, they, uh, uh, they happen, a lot of times sightings especially, and sometimes sounds, um, happen in places that have a lot of electromagnetic energy, like a lot of old copper wiring or pipes that have been used for a while but still have copper wiring in them. Um, any too much electromagnetic energy can actually cause uh, visual and oral hallucinations. Oral. Um, sorry. So, this, uh, and this is adjacent to the hotel, so it doesn't surprise me. I believe room 812 is actually on this side. Uh, so that may be an explanation of, of uh, some of the sightings. Um, it's a two-part question. First of all, how long have you worked here? Second of all, how long have you had that be on your head? <laughs> oh. oh no, that was so good. You spoiled it, Thomas. Uh, the bee was similar to the woman in the, in the elevator. The bee was similar to the woman in the elevator. As soon as you questioned her. As soon as I questioned uh, the bee. Tom, uh, and then went on into the bee. The bee ran just like she did. So there seems to be a common thread here. Um, People are afraid to answer questions about the ghosts. Obviously. I mean, you saw that. Uh, the viewer saw that for sure. Yeah. So um, we're going to keep asking our questions, the tough questions. We're going to keep asking them because, damn it, we're going to get answers. Do you, um, would you all mind being photographed just for a moment? It's like a video. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay. Tough questions, I've got a few of them. Uh, first of all, have you noticed any paranormal activity around town? Uh, anywhere near the Alex Johnson Hotel? No, no. Okay. Um, second question, have you experienced any paranormal activity around the Alex Johnson Hotel? No. no. Shoot, we have a yes right over there. <laughs> What, what experience was it? What experience? Oh. <laughs> She's like, I'm not sure. Oh, ghost. I understand. I can see your reluctance. It was probably a traumatic experience. They tend to be. So. Um, yeah. It was. They're pretty intense. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Ladies, thank you so much. Thanks for sharing. Thank you. Absolutely. You too. I really want to I want to make sure that it was observed that as soon as he asked the questions about the paranormal activity, the bee from Thomas Jefferson's head came back over here. Just so you know. It was saying, Doe, don't talk about the paranormal activity. It's bad. 
Try to sting the ladies. Try to sting the ladies. Try to sting the ladies. We just have a different perspective here uh, of the Alex. Uh, leave the hotel uh, window in question is right there on the edge. Uh, and that's where she uh, uh, purportedly jumped uh, out, but we, we believe that she was pushed out. We'll have to go down to the county uh, courthouse and check out the records there. But um, just to give you an idea of the fall, and uh, just, um, just by looking at it, you can get the feeling. So, um, how long have you worked here? Uh, how long? <clears throat> how long have you worked here? General terms, like months or. I don't seem to be getting a lot coming from her, um, but she does have a dead fly on her left chest area. Sometimes animals have a keener sense of uh, the uh, nether world than we do. Um, they just have their senses are heightened in that way. Um, so I think this is a perfect opportunity to find out a few things. Uh, I think he's upside down right now, but I think we can learn some things. I think that's a clear indication. A, he's attracted to me. B, he's like, you hit the jackpot, man. Paranormal activity. Wow. So we have some of our uh, compatriots over there. Uh, they probably have some experiences uh, as we have, and I can't wait to find out uh, what they've learned uh, so far. We have the whole city blanketed, uh, turning over rocks, talking to the people, uh, and uh, that's really the only way to get to the true story. So here they come. I've got the key to room 12 if anybody wants to come in and do a little seance. You got the key. Yeah, and pretty much all the night auditors have been saying that there's stuff going on. There's uh, child laughing. Like coming from the restaurant, even though it's all sealed up and everything. Um, We've been trying to have you like encountered all any all ghosts yet? I'm at the Howard Johnson's hotel. Howard Johnson? And okay. I have heard a woman's voice moaning Howard. Oh, that was from one of the rooms nearby. That was me. Oh, 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 that was, oh, that was okay, you. Okay, I did have a weird experience this morning. I left and went down to breakfast, and when I came back, my bed was made, and my trash was empty. Okay. It was the weirdest thing. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's amazing. Do you guys know anything about the paranormal activity at uh, the Alex Jones? Well, we heard there's a rumor that it's haunted. That's all I know. They heard a rumor that it's haunted. Have you seen anything about the ghosts around? Why are you staying there? Yeah, we're all staying there. We're trying to. We're doing a little research to see if we can find anything out. I don't know. Are you videoing this? Yeah. No, sorry, we don't know. We're not from here. <laughs> well, that's video. There you have it, folks. They don't know anything. <laughs> Bye, guys. See you later. Thanks, guys. See ya. But at three o'clock in the morning. Good luck. All right. This is a special moment uh, we have here, uh, Mikey. Uh, you will be in 812 tonight, is that correct? No, I'm not staying around all that baby bullshit. I have a pair of sunglasses that look just like these sunglasses, and I had them on today. So Michael Lindner of Michael Lindner Chicago fame comes up to me and says, Hey, where'd you get those glasses? They look a lot like those glasses that I own. And I was like, oh yeah, they do look a lot like them. I, you know, I, I got those glasses recently. He's like, yeah, look out, buddy. Don't go stealing my glasses. And I was like, I wouldn't steal your glasses. 
uh, accidentally last week I had his old glasses in my hand and you know he accused me of stealing them but I didn't steal them. So anyways I bought a new pair of glasses that happen to look like these glasses. Michael Lindner says to me where'd you get those glasses? Stay on the bus. I say I don't know. I go to sleep. I put the glasses in my bag. My glasses. The real glasses that I just bought. I put them in my bag. So later today I'm running out of the room to catch up with you guys to go on this ghost hunt tour and I said oh no I gotta get my glasses real quick and I run back into my bag reach in and I pull out these Michael Lindner's glasses how did they switch with my glasses so we are here at the theater uh, in Grand Rap no Rapid City sorry I apologize to all the Rapid City people out there I call it Grand Rapids anyway it's um, a beautiful theater but it apparently is haunted and the seats and he does crazy shit, so we're gonna keep our eyes wide. I think there's something floating oh, behind you. Really? What? Money, money, money. Must be funny in a rich man's world. Money, money, money. Always sunny in a rich man's world. So, um, what happened with a certain pair of sunglasses that you, um, we heard some ghosts were taking sunglasses. Do you know anything about this? Sunglasses? Yeah, some paranormal sunglass activity. <laughs> well, right. Um, the sunglasses were stolen by ghosts. <laughs> So it's no um, uh, small coincidence uh, that uh, just kitty corner, as some or some people like to say, catty corner. I say kitty corner from the Alex, uh, which is just over there, um, is none other than Jimmy Carter. And um, the thing about this is, he's waving off in the distance. If you look over this way, there's very little that you can see other than way in the corner there that's either John Wayne, Roy Rogers, or one of these cowboy types. Um, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, that would be a representation of a ghost. And um, so Jimmy Carter, who was one of our wonderful presidents, if you don't mind me, Jimmy, I'll touch you there on the side. Um, he is greeting a ghost on the other corner and has his jacket flung over his arm in a very casual manner. I think that means don't be afraid of the ghosts inside the Alex. Give them a wave. Have a jacket or not, but give them a wave and say hi. I like you. So what were you saying about uh, ghosts and sunglasses? Uh, ghosts and sunglasses? Yeah, I, I thought you knew something about some paranormal sunglass activity. I don't think it. So it doesn't ring a bell. True denial. Uh, we have it on uh, audio taper from earlier that uh, he had a paranormal experience with a pair of sunglasses. They actually, he put them on, uh, they attached themselves to his face, and he was actually able to see underneath women's clothing. No, that, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. Uh, uh, you, but you, we have you on tape earlier saying that he ghosts did not deal sunglasses. Yeah. And he was able to see uh, beneath all of the girls' clothing in the show. No, I definitely, I would have, I definitely would have remembered that. Well, remember you seem to be, to be lying in either this statement or the previous statement. What? He, he made like a comic book flip book describing no, all the girls I under. I didn't make a comic book flip book. <laughs> Interesting that you knew it was a comic book flip book. He just said it was. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Huh? Yeah. I knew that somehow. I didn't yeah. say it. Yeah, yeah, you knew that. No, I think Robert said it. it was no, a comic book. I was just walking by. You asshole. What are we talking about? Well, <laughs>